Adam Schnug, principal of Catasauqua High School. I'd like to welcome you to our second student of the semester ceremony for the 2019-2020 school year. This is also our first ever virtual student of the semester ceremony. This school year has been a first of many things. We began this year with a new schedule, we established a new career education program, and now with COVID-19 as part of our daily reality, we have to do everything virtually. In this video, we are celebrating students who have demonstrated specific employability skills that bring post-secondary success in the modern world. We are honoring students for their abilities in problem solving, leadership, career management, communication, collaboration, global awareness, information technology, and professionalism. Our award winners do not yet know they have won, so make sure you're paying attention because your name just may be called. This ceremony and celebration could not happen without the help of our local businesses. I would like to take a moment to thank our community partners, GR Electric, Barry's Port Body Works, Paisan Pizzeria, the Gas House Dance Hall, Texas Roadhouse, and Palermo's Italian Grill for their support and donations to make today possible. And at this time, we will begin our ceremony. Our first award winner is Sydney Gebhardt, nominated by Mr. Davies. Throughout the semester, Sydney has done a fantastic job. She remains on task with her assignments and works well with others and has strong listening skills. She accepts constructive criticism and is always a team player. She has also did great work online, even completing review assignments that were not graded. Sydney Gebhardt. Our next award winner is Tamari Wilkins. Tamari is nominated by Mr. Foley. Tamari is a team player who is as concerned with others as she is herself. She is a fantastic and positive communicator. She is also a very contentious worker. Tamari Wilkins. Emily Rivera, nominated by Mrs. Levine. Mrs. Levine states, Emily is aware of her work and tries her best to accomplish it in a timely fashion. Ms. Levine wanted to pick two categories for employment skills, problem solving and critical thinking, and oral and written communications because Emily succeeds at both. Every email she sends is cheerful and respectful. I appreciate all of her help with troubleshooting and feedback. I know her career path is graphic design and she holds a leadership position at LCTI. Emily Rivera. Donovan Ahart, nominated by Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan states, Donovan's communication efforts this semester have exemplified what it takes to succeed in times of chaos. Throughout this semester, Donovan has kept an open line of dialogue through various channels to make sure his needs were successfully met. Donovan Ahart. Kayla Cunningham, nominated by Mr. Groover. Mr. Groover states, over the past few weeks, Kayla has submitted writing that is the quality of a college student. The way she is able to formulate and compose a piece of writing is commendable. Additionally, her vocabulary is advanced and appropriate for the pieces of writing she is turning in. Her expansive vocabulary will most definitely serve her well moving forward with the rest of her schooling as well as her career. Kayla Cunningham. Our next student is Ryan Casey, nominated by Mr. Schnug. Mr. Schnug states, Ryan has demonstrated proper etiquette in crafting emails to teachers and administrators. He makes it a point to begin and end his communications with a greeting and a farewell. His communication and writing is clear and concise. Ryan also goes above and beyond just writing emails and completing assignments. He took the time to email several teachers during Teacher Appreciation Week, showing his caring and gratitude in written form. He goes above and beyond. Ryan Casey Amber Kalnis was nominated by Mrs. DeBoer. Mrs. DeBoer states, Amber is an extremely responsible and dependable person. She hands assignments in promptly and has a passion for learning. Any task given to her is done to the best of her ability, and she takes pride in all she does for journalism and the brown and white. Congratulations, Amber. Amber Kalnis. Amber was also nominated by Mr. Inman. Mr. Inman states, Amber does all of her work with a very professional level of effort and focus. She has consistently proven that she works and acts at a level that is above average expectations. This is why she will become a fantastic representative of the Catasauqua Area School District and the things she will achieve in the future. Amber Kalnis. 
Madison Hicks, nominated by Ms. Labar. Ms. Labar states, Maddie is getting this award as my teacher assistant. She emails me every Monday morning to check in and ask what she needs to do for the week. I get all the materials back on the day that they are requested. She has been a great asset for me during online slash virtual learning. She will also reach out to me if she has questions about material that she is completing for me. She's doing a fantastic job with time management and is completing all of her responsibilities as a teacher assistant. Great job, Maddie, and keep this great work ethic going next year in college. Madison Hicks. Miranda Duncan, nominated by Mr. Eamon Murray. Mr. Murray states, Miranda has met her personal work goals for the third quarter and has excelled with her work completion in the fourth quarter while working at home. During the fourth quarter, Miranda successfully improved her average in three classes. She is graduating this year, and I cannot be more proud of her. Miranda Duncan. Jordan Blos, nominated by Mrs. Semmel. Mrs. Semmel states, Jordan exemplifies the concept of work ethic. Jordan is dedicated to the task and completes her work with precision and accuracy. She also takes the time to help others with kindness and compassion. It was truly a joy to have Jordan in class. I enjoyed her wit and sensitivity. I wish Jordan all the best, knowing she will take every opportunity to make her life a success. Jordan Blos. Sarah Yandrasitz, nominated by Mr. Wismer. Mr. Wismer states, Sarah has been my teacher assistant in both the classroom and during online instruction. Simply put, I cannot recall another student who functions at such a high standard. Her etiquette in her communication and task completion cannot be matched. She is proactive and intuitive with her duties. This is a rarely seen skill set that is more developed than what is seen in many hard-working adults. Sarah Yandrasitz. Hamaya Jenkins, nominated by Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony states, Hamaya was the first student I considered for student of the semester. Whether it is working in class or working from home, Hamaya always works to her highest potential. Her responses to class activities are consistently thoughtful and of high quality. Hamaya is an exemplary student, and it has been a pleasure to work with her. I have no doubt her work ethic, intelligence, and sensibility will allow her to achieve all of her future goals and dreams. Hamaya Jenkins Natalie Burgos Ramos, nominated by Mrs. Dolak. Mrs. Dolak states, Natalie is an all-around exceptional student. She is hardworking, produces quality work, and puts forth a tremendous amount of effort in everything that is assigned to her. Natalie was also nominated by Mr. Leonard who reiterated the many positive things that Mrs. Dolak said and added she likes to get her assignments done early and to a very high quality. Natalie Burgos Ramos. Kyler Hunsiger, nominated by Mrs. Fisher. Mrs. Fisher state, Kyler is a cyber student. He persisted through the challenges of switching to online education. He consistently worked on his program of study throughout the COVID-19 shutdown and never took a break. He has done an excellent job communicating throughout. Kyler Hunsiger. Alexander Treber, nominated by Mrs. Resto. Mrs. Resto states, Alex is both a student and a teacher assistant in the art room. She is dependable, trustworthy, and her organizational skills supersedes any student that has ever been in the position of an art room teacher assistant. She's always willing to do whatever it takes to complete the task at hand. During the transition to online learning, she has helped me tremendously with creating videos and trying out homemade materials that we wouldn't normally use in schools. No task has ever been too big or too small for Alex. I believe that with her skills, work ethic, and determination, after high school she will be a great contributor to whatever field she decides to enter. She is absolutely an exceptional spirit, and I am grateful that I had the opportunity to work with her. Alexander Trever. Our next student is Haley Senator Deshane, nominated by Mrs. Ross. Mrs. Ross states, Haley has a strong work ethic. She always does her work on time and to a high degree of quality. She's an absolute pleasure to have in class. Haley Senator Deshane. Taylor Hicks, nominated by Mr. Baklowski. Mr. Baklowski states, Taylor was doing an exceptional job with both the physical and academic demands of our personal fitness course when we were together in school. Then, 
Taylor really took her initiative and quality of work to the next level from home. She has been present in she has been present every day and participated in the course with integrity and with a high level of work ethic, even including her family in her virtual experience. Way to lead by example, Taylor. Taylor Hicks. Hope Gino, nominated by Mrs. Doe. Mrs. Doe states, Hope has a great work ethic and has been succeeding in our new virtual learning environment. She is always polite and asks good questions. Hope is a motivated learner who always produces quality work. Hope, Gino. Chloe Moyer, nominated by Mrs. Estrada. Mrs. Estrada states, This is my second year teaching Chloe. She has been an excellent student and has done exceptionally well with distance learning. In class, she's always participating and asking questions during distance learning. She completed all the assessments in a timely manner. Chloe has even attended all of my optional class meetings to review and practice things we have been learning. Her goal isn't just to get the work done. She truly wants to learn the content and goes above and beyond to do that. Chloe Moyer. Connor Booth, nominated by Mrs. Hinkle. Mrs. Hinkle states, Connor has done an excellent job with distance learning. He has been punctual with all of his assignments, done a fantastic job of communicating with me, and was a major participant in class Zoom meetings. We are very proud of his efforts. Connor Booth. Santino Golardi, nominated by Mr. Oswald. Mr. Oswald states, Sonny has been doing a great job while we were actually in school, but has taken it to a new level during the fourth quarter. He has constantly finished his work early in the week and is showing a maturity that goes above and beyond what is being asked of him on a weekly basis. Sonny truly deserves to be recognized for the work he has been putting in during these difficult times. Santino Golardi. Yanalise Rivera, nominated by Mrs. Mitchell. Mrs. Mitchell states, Yanalise is a cyber student in our cyber academy. She has consistently given good effort to her studies since transitioning to online learning. She remains on pace and does outstanding work. During the COVID-19 shutdown, she continued to work on her studies even during those times in which it was not required. I am pleased to nominate her as a student of the semester. Yanelis Rivera. Aliyah Jimenez, nominated by Mrs. Hinkle. Mrs. Hinkle states, Aliyah has been an excellent student all semester and has done exceptionally well with distance learning. She's been punctual with all of her assignments. If a question came up, she did not hesitate to communicate with me for clarification. Her assignments have all been done with exceptional quality as well. I have been very impressed with her work ethic during distance learning. Aliyah Jimenez. Vincent Lamandry, nominated by Mr. Yannick. Mr. Yannick states, Finney worked diligently during this, time, during this trying time of online learning. He prioritized what assignments were needed to be completed first and managed his time well. Finney was a responsible student and reached out to his teachers when he had questions or needed clarifications on assignments projects, or quiz. He produced quality work when he was with his teachers, and offline he produced quality work as well. Vinny learned many valuable lessons throughout this time period, such as patience, versatility, perseverance, and flexibility. Vincent Lamandry. everyone, I am Christina Lutz Stemling, Assistant Superintendent for the Catasauqua Area School District, and I am honored to be here today to recognize our students of the semester. The Student of the Semester Awards focus on employability skills is a direct result of Catasauqua Area School District's renewed emphasis on career education and preparation. Our teachers have participated in Educator in the Workplace projects to learn more about employability skills and 21st century workplace environments. Additionally, teachers and students have utilized online programs and tools like Smart Futures and NEPRIS to engage in career exploration and preparation activities and to make virtual connections with business and industry leaders. Furthermore, Catasauqua High School students have participated in job shadowing, work-based learning, teaching assistant, and industry-based certification experiences. 
The end of this school year brought challenges that none of us could have expected. On short notice, we asked our students to adapt and solve problems with no guidebook. Many of our students are currently juggling academics with personal commitments to families and workplaces. Our Student of the Semester Award winners were selected for recognition because they have risen to the occasion. They exemplify critical employability skills required for success in today's careers. I would like to extend my congratulations to all of the Catasauqua High School Student of the Semester Award winners for their demonstration of exemplary employability skills. You have modeled the essential skills, personal qualities, and values that will allow you to thrive in any workplace. I am confident that you will effectively apply these skills along with your content area knowledge to achieve success in your future careers. Congratulations to all of our Student of the Semester Award winners. Hello, Catasauqua High School students and families. It is with great pride that I congratulate you on your recognition of Student of the Semester. Academic achievement is paramount for future success, not only in the classroom, but also in careers, military service, and community service. As a Rough Rider myself, I am proud of your achievement. You stand as testimony that if you desire a solid educational foundation, the Catasauqua Area School District provides the opportunities for success. You have used those opportunities for personal success, attainment of knowledge, advancement in learning, application in the workplace, and to become a well-rounded citizen of the Catasauqua Area School District community. Again, congratulations on your achievement and best to you and your families for a safe summer. Congratulations.